In fact, segment tonight, the Ebola virus breaks out in Africa. Two American medical workers, 33-year-old Dr. Kent Brantley and 59-year-old Nancy Wrightbull, have been diagnosed with the Ebola virus in Liberia. There's no cure for Ebola. It kills most people who contract it in a very gruesome way. The U.S. State Department has not issued any formal warnings, which is very strange because the countries of Guinea, Sierra Leone, and, Li and Liberia have seen hundreds of people die from Ebola. Listen now, Dr. Philip Cheatham, who is closely following the situation. Are you fearful that this could break out of Africa to Europe and the United States? You know, Bill, travel, air travel has made any infection potentially very contagious that can get across the world. But actually, I'm not fearful about this. I mean, Ebola virus is extremely contagious, but there are many reasons why this is a big problem in Africa and why if a patient came here with a problem, it wouldn't be a All big right, And we'll get into that in a moment. But the, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong. The, the gestation period of the disease is anywhere from 2 to 21 days. Uh, That's correct. Right? Okay. So you could have somebody in Africa travel to uh, Lagos, Nigeria, for example, get on a plane, fly right to New York or London and have the disease. So why wouldn't you be fearful that that might happen? Well, first thing to say is that most people who are contagious actually do have symptoms at that time. The typical... So after two days or one day? The, the typical incubation period is somewhere between eight and ten days. It can be as early as two, as you said. It can be as late as 21. Um, but this is not like a flu virus. This is not... You're not going to get Ebola virus from somebody coughing on you. The typical transfer of Ebola virus is with direct contact. So patients who have diarrhea, vomiting in particular. But the problem why this disease is so fatal, Bill, is that the supportive care that patients need to survive the disease, very simple care, IV fluids, being yeah, rehydrated. It's not available in It's Africa. not available, and that's why the disease is so fatal. Okay. There's no, it's no rocket science here. So it's not an airborne disease, and that's what we see in most of these movies, uh, contagion and those things, where it's if you sneeze, a thing goes, and then everybody gets it. You have to come into contact with the person who has the Ebola virus or, or in an have, intimate way, almost like AIDS, that, right? Well, or you have to come into contact with... Um, objects that have been objects infected. Objects that have been infected. Okay. So the typical transfer would be blood, urine, saliva, vomit. Those are the main okay. issues. So if somebody gets, gets it in a village, in a prim primitive village in Africa, and then people don't understand what it is, and they're, and they're just treating it as they would treat a flu, then it just goes boom across the board. Well, that's right. And the symptoms of Ebola virus are very nonspecific. So fever, chills, Yeah, aches. that could be the flu. So Absolutely. They, and that they don't know. Now, shouldn't the State Department, I mean, ramp it up a little bit here? Because, I mean, we're almost, we're approaching a thousand deaths in in Africa on this thing. Well, I think the main problem here is that the deaths in the patients that have had them, it's due to poor medical care. What we do know is that most people that have died from the disease are in remote areas, remote villages in Africa. Most people are not visiting those places, and those people that but have Nigeria the disease... stopped their traffic between the three countries, and that you can't, they're not going to take any, any uh, they're not going to let any pl planes land. That's right, but I think we do need to make the point, Bill, that there are no reported cases in the U.S., and one patient in the 1990s did go from Africa to Switzerland and they were immediately cured just with very simple supportive right, measures. Do you believe these two Americans are going to make it? Even, you know, they're in the hospital now getting the IVs and what they need. I, I mean, they, I don't know the full details, but we know that the They early, have a ch good chance to survive. I do think so. I think if they've been properly rehydrated and they don't okay. have multi-organ issues, then absolutely. Fingers crossed. I hope All right, they do. Doctor. We appreciate you coming in. Thank you. Thank you for having me.